everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you thank you as always i always like to start off giving everyone appreciation so let's jump into it if you like this video go ahead and give me a good thumbs up and drop a comment don't forget my whole goal is 100 likes and 50 comments so please help me reach my goal if you are new to my channel thank you for watching my video go ahead and hit that subscribe button ding that bell so you don't miss any videos and don't forget this week it is relationship tip series so from saturday to wednesday it's going down this is your official first relationship tip video okay so we're just gonna pop it off so it wouldn't be right if i didn't start this off with relationships teach us a lesson what why wouldn't I? Of course, I'm going to start it off with relationships teach us a lesson. So this is officially the first topic. Relationships always teach us a lesson. So what I want you to understand, a good rule of thumb is right here for men, you'll never appreciate a good woman if you never had a bad one. And for women, you'll never appreciate a good man if you never had a bad one. Meaning that every relationship teach us a lesson. And sometimes we get in relationships with people that we are literally just supposed to be friends with. And then we get in relationships with people that, we're, that we think that we're meant to be with, but we're really not meant to be with them. This particular relationship is here to teach us a lesson and build us for the next person. And then that person might be our person, or then they might not be our person. That relationship might teach us something else until we get to where we're going. So every time you get in a relationship and you get out of a relationship, that relationship was supposed to teach you something. If that relationship didn't teach you something, you didn't put the work in, and they didn't put the work in. That relationship should have taught you something because after every breakup, it's something that relationship taught you because that relationship ended. And that way you just keep building and building and building. You're building yourself, you're building your communication, you're building your strength to get through another relationship. You know, you are just building, building, and building. So, relationships always teach us a lesson. Now, going back to where I was saying, sometimes you can get in a relationship with friends. Now, for me personally, I went on dates with people. And they end up just being my friend. No sexual intercourse, no none of that. They're just my friend. Like, we talking and that's the goal. But once we meet and we start connecting, we realize that we would really be good as friends. So that connection wasn't there. Like, it was a little bit of attraction and stuff there, of course, because something had to get us at the beginning until we went on a date, right? So the, the attraction typically is the first thing until y'all have that conversation and you sit down and talk. And we laughing and we joking. And you'll be like, well, Shane, that seems like a really good person that you can probably date. No, not, not necessarily because sometimes you're laughing and you're joking and then you're looking at the attraction and you're thinking like, I can be in a relationship with this person. And then you get in a relationship with that person and you wonder why it don't work out. It's because y'all are supposed to really be friends. And that's where a lot of my male friends come from is you know it was something there if for a minute like hey we met and then we're like mm, not a thing we're just gonna be friends we're really good as being friends and then you have those relationships that you meet somebody and you can't stop thinking about them you know just holding a conversation with them you can't you can't breathe right you know they not around you that often you really missing it you thinking more about them so you have that type of attraction and then you have the attraction where a person just look nice and you thinking, well, if I talk to them long enough, maybe I develop feelings and stuff. And you really think that their relationship is going to work versus you feeling something at the beginning and you kind of trying to go with strong feelings and you trying to go towards that way. So again, sometimes it's not meant to always date. Okay, people. so typically when you first start dating, you know, you just jumping in relationships and stuff. You ain't thinking too much of about it or what. You jump in these relationships and you just boyfriend and girlfriend and going about your business, hoping and praying that it's gonna work. And so as you get older, you in and out of relationships, you realize you want to take your time and build these friendships. So that's your previous relationships teaching you a lesson. So you know your communication wasn't so good and now it's becoming good because now you see you need to communicate more in order for a relationship to be successful because maybe there's one relationship you wasn't and you didn't communicate good and then you know you might need to be more patient because you know your girl I, I had to be more patient because again my patience was this thin for me and this thin so i had to build patience up and then you know as you talk to men or as you talk to women you start to see how their brains work. You start to see how they think a little bit. And stuff start making sense once you take your time. You get to be building these friendships. And again, you know, these relationships teach you a lesson. And so, even if you're in a relationship, 
this particular relationship that you in is teaching you a lesson as you go. And so if the relationship don't work out, you got some goals and some other stuff to hold on to. And then if it do work out, you just keep building and building and y'all keep building and growing together because that's how relationships are. It's growth. Relationships. It is just growth. Y'all growing together. So think about me in relationships is... So, um, I can honestly say that every relationship I get better and better and better. You know, mistakes that I made in a previous relationship, I don't make in a new relationship. And so whatever mistakes I make in that relationship, I don't make up in the next one. And keep going and going. And this is how I became this person. And this is how I'm really good at relationship now. You know, I'm really good at communication because I looked at what went wrong. Like, okay, this is how it started. This is how it ended. What did I do up in this? Because you have to understand in every relationship you play a part. It's not just one person. It's both of y'all. So what part did I play in each one of these relationships? And you look at that come and go. Like what come and go in every relationship leading up to where I'm at now? Like say he said that I wasn't communicating. And somebody else said I wasn't communicating. And somebody else said, okay, so now I need to work on my communication. Because this is just showing up too much up in here. And I listen to myself. And that's how I got better at a lot of stuff. And that's how I became, you know, like relationships do teach us a lesson. That's how I can agree to that. Okay, one of the biggest lessons I've learned while I was in a relationship is... <gasps> Are you ready for this? Are you ready? One of the biggest relate, one of the biggest, biggest, biggest things I have learned. Guess what it is? Okay, I'm gonna tell you anyways. Do not go through cell phones. Do not go through cell phones. That is the biggest lesson. Do not go through cell phones. I'm gonna keep saying that because you shouldn't be going through cell phones. I kid you not. I went through a cell phone one time. I wasn't even ready for that. I. Do not go through a cell phone. So, again, relationships teach you a lesson. And in this particular relationship, I learned not to go through cell phones because you just don't want to know. Like, you shouldn't be picking up nobody's phone. Just, uh-uh, uh-uh. He already suspect. Now I got to go through the cell phone to see as if you really ready to see what that person been doing. So, that is one of the biggest, biggest, biggest lessons that I learned in a relationship. That's just one. So again, you know, like I said, relationships teach you a lesson to not do certain stuff and then to do some stuff, but mainly to not do some stuff, to not deal with certain type of people. And also if, uh, also repeating it again, relationships teach us a lesson because I'm going to keep saying that because I need y'all to understand that everything, you know, even friendships, you know, if you're doing friends, that should teach you a lesson on who to be your friend, who not to be your friend. So this actually plays a part up in your entire life. You know, just like your family, you know, certain family members, you know, they just not good. And then you understand which family members you can have in your life and which family members you shouldn't have in your life. So it goes all the way around, but we just focusing on relationships, but I just wanted to throw that up in there. Okay. A couple things before I end the video, if I could leave you with something of lessons that I've learned and hopefully um, some of these lessons you can learn from is do not go through cell phones. Believe who they say they are. Lead with my head and not my heart. Remember, they say love is blind because you ignore a lot of stuff when you are in love. So I try to always leave with my head. If it don't make sense, it don't make sense. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you like the content. I'm keeping everything short because it's for five days. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up. Drop a comment. Don't forget, I am trying to reach 100 likes. And... 50 comments so please 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 help me reach my goal thank you thank you and don't forget tomorrow at 12 o'clock another video is dropping for again help me out relationship tips with shay janae yes so again give me the good old thumbs up drop the comments help your girl reach her goals thank you thank you thank you see you tomorrow at 12 o'clock from Saturday to Wednesday, my first relationship tip series. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Day one. Whoop. Done.